All right, I'm gonna make a little video about the LEDs. They're kind of driving me crazy as well. I'm just gonna mod them, actually. There's two separate ways to do it, I think. I'm, I could be doing it wrong anyways as well. But anyways, so here's the orange and red side, and here's the green side. I'm using a black marker, so it's gonna get confusing pretty quickly. But here's the one LED, there's another LED, and here's the two green ones. So basically the two green ones, here's the four pads on the LEDs. So these two here are joined. They go here, there's this here, and then it attaches to the main trace on the board, on the green board. So this one here would be your uh, black wire. And this one here is the one that jumps over here and attaches, uh, let's see here, to that side. So that one attaches there, and this is your positive. And that's a red wire and then this one here shoots over to a switch it's a red wire that's your switch wire so technically it's plus five volts as well or whatever positive volts so on this side is where it's all screwed up so basically it's the same setup as this one this one attaches to the board and it's connected to this pad on this side and this would technically be your positive this here and this here are actually ground wires. And these would go to your APM. And then this side and this side are connected to the board. So what I figure is we're going to cut this wire here. And what you can do is you have two options here. They do it at least semi right so you'll have a green and red light. No orange light. Or you'll have a red and orange combined. It's up to you. So here you would just take this one and then make this one your switch wire. And then these ones would be your ground. So now doing that, start over again now. Basically the goal here is just to make two separate lights. So here's your red and orange. Red and your green. Pulse box. Two LEDs, two LEDs, they're joined, and they're joined. So this is your ground wire, it's black, not like it matters. And then here's your positives. So now what we're going to do is, we don't need both of these or whatever, we just need one wire. So we can either cut the the right side that goes to the other side or keep this side here that already has the connector so that one's right and the black wire already has a connector so now we're done with the green side that one's complete now it's this side that's going to be the pin in the butt I'm gonna have to draw that a little bit bigger so again LED LED four spots Orange, red. I believe that's your red. That's your orange. So this is the way it's set up now. So now what we'll want to do is make one wire come off here and we're going to make that the switch. I take that back. The wire coming off here, I believe. I'll test that out again. Okay. Try it again. So yeah, the two middle ones. So there's the orange one, there's the red one. So what we'll end up doing is making this one the switch. So this side and this side would become your switch wires. Well, you just need the one because they're already attached. So that's a switch now. 
and this one and this one you would want to connect together and that will be your ground. Now that's one way of doing it. The other way I'm going to try doing it, this way here you would have your red and orange combined together or you don't have to do the attachment there with the two separate wires or whatever for the ground. The other option would be to um, flip these LEDs, which I'm actually going to try. If you flip them around, then this, these two pads become your positive switch and then this becomes your ground. So I think that would be the better way. So then you'll still have your three lights. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to give that a try. Hopefully that makes sense. If not, uh oh. All right, so I'm just going to continue on with this actually. I'll just show you guys a little bit of me doing it. This is the green side here. That's the red side. So here's the wire that loops for the green. That's the one I'm just going to cut right off. And I don't know where the cutters are. So. Yeah, just cut that guy off. You can actually unsolder him. Uh, probably would have been smarter. Don't know why I did that. That was kind of stupid. All right, I lost a bunch of the recording there. Anyways, here's my green side. I took it out of the harness. Now I have a red and black wire for just the green one. And for this one, I have a white and red one. Basically, what happens here is the two middle ones are your ground. So right now, how, I, how it sits is I have this white wire just for the red light. If you want both of them together, just put a bead of solder in between the two and you'll get your red and orange. And the outside is your switch and that'll be our red wire. So as is right now, the CX-20 will have a red and green light. So when you arm it, the red should turn solid and the green one when you get a satellite signal should turn solid. If you're really picky and you want an orange light, which I was going to do, I'm not too sure if I, I might try it, is uh, these two LEDs here, if you actually pick them up carefully, and you turn them around both of them then you can use each of these pads you know properly have your orange and properly have your red light so uh, but I'll show you what this looks like on a CX-20 now as is and again <laughs> I'll show a close-up of it so middle pad is ground outside is positive your switch on the back side it looks like this not the best soldering right now and on this guy your orange and red light which is just red right now. It's your four pads on the outside. is a positive, middle is ground. Flip it. And that's what this looks like. Okay, so I'll hook it up to the CX-20. All right, I got the CX-20 open. So again, it goes like this. You always start with zero. So it goes zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And seven is for the um, red LED. And then six would be for a GPS. So for now, I don't have a harness. So I'm just going to plug it in. Count it again. So it should be eight up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And our weight is our ground. So that's for our um, red light and the GPS is now a black and red wire so again the red is our switch and that goes into six which is seven this way and it has its own ground Hopefully you can see the light. I'll plug it in to see. I'll just do a quick arm right now. Even though it didn't find the satellite yet. Just see what happens. So I just found the satellite anyways, blinking green here. And this has gone solid. So now I'll arm it. Oh, I lost the satellite again. Oh, there you go. Alright, so... Oh, well, I'm in a house, so the satellite's kind of screwed up. Okay, so that's that for those two lights.
arm it again. Solid light. I'll disarm it. And there you go. That's the proper way of doing it. I'm not using any resistors or anything. Uh, I'm pretty sure the APM can handle this. And the LEDs can handle it. If not, uh, I don't know, add something to it. Maybe a thousand K or something. Alrighty. Alright, just for kicks, I'll draw it out one more time. Just so you can take a snapshot. So you can understand it. Or see how it is. So that's the green light. So basically your black wire and your red wire. And that's it for this one. And this one, I don't know, the other picture's coming through. So here's your switch, and now you have actually an option, whichever one you want to pick, actually. Or like I said, join it together here, and you'll get your orange and red together. So this would be your red, while well, I'd be your ground. Yeah, I hope I didn't confuse you guys even more, especially with this piece of paper. Okay, so I'm actually going to try swapping out the uh, LEDs just for the heck of it, just to see if I can do it. Um, you don't really have to do this unless you really, really want to have that orange light. The simplest thing to do is just put a lob right there and then have the two wires join but for the hell of it we'll see if this works and I don't break the LEDs let's see which would be the best way to do this I don't know if this LED drops out of the tweezers. I'm going to swap the red around. And the outside should be my ground. Alright, I ended up getting uh, two parts off, uh, I believe it's from a USB. Because I can make this red one. Another switch. Okay, so these two are positive, and the outside one would be my negative.
Right, so if I didn't fry the LED with too much heat, it should be switch, switch, ground, because I flipped the LEDs around. Pretty bad, too. Not the best soldering. No flux. That's all right. All right, so I got this open again. So basically, this is my ground wire. It can go anywhere on this side. But if I go 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so the red one is my arm light, and then the green one. And a ground wire. So I'm gonna find have to find some more connectors or ends for these. And then now this would be my orange light. And I guess I'll just go to uh, I'll share it with the uh, beeper one, I guess, for now. This is zero one two. Oh, I believe it'd be this one anyways. Next one down. If I can get it in there. All right, so that's that guy. And the green lights are here. And hopefully I didn't fry the lights with too much heat. Battery, plug her in. Now, did I get that backwards? Yeah, I got that backwards with the red and the orange. So this guy has to come up. No. Yeah, this guy here. So this guy goes over here. What a mess, what a mess. Okay, do I have a satellite or yeah, I do. Okay, so my red light works now. Armex. Too sure what the point of the orange light would be. Unless when the batteries almost die or whatever, it'll start blinking, I think. Pretty sure that's what that one's for. So anyways, it works. You can flip the LEDs. I just did it for the first time, honestly, and it worked. Um, the orange light, you can put it anywhere you want, I guess. There's a whole bunch of different uh, motor LEDs ones. Right now I have it set up for the beeper. So I believe what will happen is uh, once the battery goes dead and it starts beeping, that orange light should start beeping as well. So just to clean this up a little bit. I'm going to leave it like that anyways. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Hopefully I didn't confuse you like I said before. Um, that's it. Thanks for watching.